أسعد الله أوقاتكم مشاهدينا الكرام وأهلا وسهلا بكم في حلقة جديدة مع برنامج رواد الأعمال كما عودناكم في كل حلقة أن نستضيف رجل الأعمال معنا اليوم رائد الأعمال المميز الأستاذ ماجد من الطريق الأزرق للتجارة العامة هلو مستر ماجد Hi, welcome. In the beginning, we give you special thank from ABC and Business Pioneer Program. And in the beginning, would you please tell us more about yourself and about the beginning of your journey? Yeah. The first of uh, all, it's better to say thank you for your effort and trying to introduce to some business in UAE and around the world, inshallah, the next time. So, as I told you before, We started to our business in UAE to, uh, around the two years ago. So uh, before I had the business in Hong Kong and, mid, uh, and uh, East Asia countries also. So I prefer to start to business in UAE because of the situation in UAE. And I see the situation and market in UAE. And we prefer to start and establish one company in UAE exactly especially dubai also because of situation and uh, i think is comfortable for every people to start to business in dubai uh, so i started to establish the general trading company but the first thing i uh, we decided with my partners also we decided to start business especially food items in UAE because I check I research the marketing and I check the population in UAE the every people need to purchase food for his life also and the, then the clothes but the tourists coming here not purchase the clothes and something but the tourists needs food every day so it's better to start I think This is my idea. It's better to start for new business for food item. In other hand, we had the some opportunity from Iran also because the most of items we brought from we bring from Iran, we imported from Iran. So this is good opportunity for Iranian people, I think Iranian businessmen. Mr. Majid, a part of price, what the other products your company is uh, distributing and importing yeah. to you in UAE and what's special about your product? Yeah, the first time uh, we import, imported the rice to UAE and check item by item. I checked the market, it doesn't need like as 50,000 kg Iranian rice because Iranian rice is famous, but in other hand is expensive. Mm. You know that around the 4 million people working in UAE as a labor. So they cannot purchase the Iranian rice also. It means you lose 4 million people from the market. In other hand, the tourist maybe doesn't know Iranian rice. So it means you reduce your clients also. So I prefer to, to working in other items like as chocolate, like as, uh, for example, the lime juice, everything. So we started to bring the, some items like lime juice, chocolate, pickle, everything you need for your life to bring from Iran and Turkey. I started to bring this item and work as a distributor in Dubai. Then after several months, we started to uh, expand the, our business in another Emirates like as Al Ain, Om Al Ain, uh, Abu Zabi, seven Emirates I mean. So we want to work here as a distributor and as an importer. And the next time, hopefully we can re-export from UAE to other countries. The first, the Middle East, Middle East countries. The second time, the our goal is African countries. Mr. Majid, after all of this successful here, what's your future plan and what's your vision for your company? The future plan depends on the future because uh, as you know, then now the government uh, arranged for 
uh, tax. It means that before you didn't have to pay the tax, but now you have to pay 5% tax. But now is you have, in uh, I think, that beside the tax, you have some opportunity according to the government uh, policy and plan, good plan for investor in UAE. It's good. So the future plan is maybe, but we are researching, we are study about that. Maybe we want to establish the manufacturer in UAE because I think, but I believe the government support the producer in UAE also. Maybe we want to establish one manufacturer in UAE and start to produce some item in UAE because if you mention made in UAE, the credit is better than made in other countries. Mr. Majid, in the end, what's the message you want to deliver to the government here? The government has too many consultants, so I think they don't need my recommend or my message. But uh, I prefer to support from government more than now. They support everything. But for example, it's better to stop the tax, I think only 5%. But whenever you, you want to pay more, you have to receive from the market. It's difficult to receive from the market. For example, this now is 5%, maybe next year will be 6, up to 9, up to 10. But what is the difference between the, this country and Europe countries? Europe countries, you have to pay maybe the 30% of your salary and of your income as a tax. So why I prefer to come here and invest in Dubai? Because of situation and easier policy than Europe countries. This is my recommend, but I'm not decision maker. Hopefully the government make good decision as before, as always. Best decision for investor. In the end, would you please tell us where is your location and how people can reach and contact with you? We have two stores in Dubai, one store in Al Ghuz and one store in Ras Al Khur. I prefer to establish my office middle of a store, warehouse, because I want to check every day how many goods export, how many goods import. It's better for me, I can control everything. So the, everybody can contact us. We are in Ras Al Khur industrial one. And uh, if it's needed, I can sell. I can tell my cell number also. My number is uh, 0567 65 2838. Everybody can contact me directly. They always, all 24 hours, my cell phone is on. Thank you very much, Mr. Majid. Hope Thank you all so. the best and the most successful in the future. Thank you so much. Thank you for your coming. Inshallah, your plan is good best i think inshallah will be make the the company will growing every day because i believe the advertisement is first salagon i think in in the world i i prefer this is my idea every company should be pay the some percent of benefit as adver advertisement because without advertisement you cannot grow it for sure. Thank you so much. Thank for everybody. Thank you. Thank you so much. إلى هنا عزاء المشاهدين نختتم حلقتنا لهذا الأسبوع. تابعونا كل جمعة وسبت على قناتكم ABC الخليجية. دمتم بخير وفي أمان الله.